Serena welcomes her second daughter. Al Graz appears in a Louis Vuitton campaign. Jack Sock, Michael Emer, and John Isner announce their retirement. And Johnny Mac speaks out against tennis's potential partnership with Saudi Arabia. We're running through the biggest headlines from last week. And plus, we've got the US Open starting in less than 24 hours. We are breaking down all the day one action from New York. The break starts right now. What's up guys, Aaron Coscarelli here. Welcome back to The Break. Well, first things first, let's appreciate the fact that the US Open main draw begins tomorrow, Monday, and we do have a ton of great tennis to get to. But before that, let's get caught up on everything that has happened in the last week, and boy, it was a lot. Serena gave birth to her second daughter, revealing on Instagram that she and husband Alexis named her Adira River Ohanian. Adira is a Hebrew name, meaning strong. Carlos Alcaraz, he appeared in his first Louis Vuitton campaign since becoming a brand ambassador back in June. He is wearing their spring-summer 2024 formal line. Jack Sonk, he announced that the 2023 US Open would be his final tournament as a pro. He will partner with John Isner in the doubles for his very last event. He is not retiring from pro sports entirely, though. He will continue to play on the pro pickleball circuit. John Isner will also retire after the US Open. He is scheduled to take the court in singles on Tuesday against Diaz Acosta of Argentina. And finally, Michael Emer announced that he would retire from pro sports at age 24 following an 18-month doping suspension. Emer had missed three out-of-competition doping tests in a 12-month period, resulting in the ban. And after failing to overturn the ruling, Emer made the decision abruptly to retire. Well, the WTA has been in the headlines recently as the location of the WTA finals is yet to be finalized. Saudi Arabia put out a bid to host the event, sparking some backlash from former pros John McEnroe and Chris Ebert. Saudi Arabia is a controversial pick to host the finals because of the kingdom's social and legal systems. The law is based on Sharia law in the Quran and views women as second-class citizens. McEnroe was quoted saying, I wouldn't do it. I don't think our sport needs it. I don't think it would benefit from it. And I don't think we should do it personally. Chris Ebert posted this to her Twitter, urging the WTA to take less money and do the right thing. All right, well, that is most of the big headlines. Now it is time to get to the fun stuff. That's right, the US Open and kicking things off on Monday, the men's draw will see Americans Taylor Fritz, Francis Diafo, Tommy Paul, Chris Eubank, Sebastian Corda, and Ben Shelton all in action. Also on Monday, Dominic Team will play Alexander Bublik, Stefano Tsitsipas will face Milos Raonic, and Novak Djokovic will be taking the court against Muller of France. The women's draw will feature American upstart Clervy Ngunue. She will face Daria Saville. The 17-year-old Clervy received a wild card into the main draw after winning the USTA 18 and under national championship. Monday's schedule also includes Victoria Azarenka playing Fiona Farrow. Maria Sakkari takes the court against Masarova. Rabakana has a tricky opening round match against Kostyuk. Coco Goff playing Laura Sigmund and world number one Iga Swiatek will kick off her title defense as she is set to face Rebecca Peterson. Remember to catch Tennis Channel's US Open pre-show every day, 9 a.m. Eastern time. We will see you tomorrow.